Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to detect edges in your image using the convolution matrix. So let's begin creating a rectangle where our image is going to be shown. So let's so let's open our patch editor. Let's create here our texture patch, texture patch here. Now let's add our convolution matrix here in the AI library. We come here and patches, patches, yes. And search for convolution this one here here you can see an example of usage and let's import it this image here you can see the result right only the edges of the image are detected so let's see how to do it let's bring our convolution patch here you can see its default values are in the first row everything is zero Right, X, Y, and Z are zero. In the second one, only Y is one. And in the third one, it's everything is zero too. This is the identity matrix. So if we apply this matrix in our image, nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna stay the same. So let's first connect here our texture. Let's bring our camera texture. connect here change this camera that's my favorite one and here we can connect this texture size so let's get our device let's bring it here and connect the screen size to this position here okay you can see that nothing changed because we're using the identity matrix we also need to add a swizzle xyz one pack so we can convert it to a vector 4 because we already have like the three values here x y and z plus the alpha connect here nothing changed yet because we still are using the identity function so i'm going to show you a little bit about convolution just show you what it means it's coming here to convolution Right. It's a mathematical operation. Usually we study this in, when you do a degree in, in engineering or physics, you know, those kind of degrees. And it's an operation between two functions. But for you that are learning how to make filter, you don't need to know exactly what is happening and all the mathematics behind this, right? You can see the result of one convolution between these two functions here, two square functions. So this is to show you that that convolution is a mathematical operation between two functions. So now I'm going to show you this. That's what matters for us. Here we have the kernel that is the convolution matrix. So it can also be called kernel. And here we can see some examples of what happens when we change these numbers here in the matrix. So here, as I show you, is the identity function, the identity matrix, 
right? With everything being zero, only the middle one is one. And here we have the edge detections options. We can detect edges using any of those matrix here, any of these values. And we can see if you use this last one here, where every, everything is minus one except the middle one, the edges are more visible compared to those first ones here. And you can also use this same matrix to sharpen an image. See, the borders get more like visible. And you can also use the same matrix to blur the image. See, if you put these values here, our image is going to be blurred. Here is how to make the Gaussian blur. You can put these values. And here are, if you want to use a 5x5 five five matrix, we also can achieve the same result, maybe a little stronger. But what matters for us is this matrix here. These values here now, because you want to do the edge detection, right? So it's good for you to have this saved, those values, in case you want to do filters with blur or sharpen your image. So let's save these values here and copy in our filter. Let's put minus one, minus one. You can see there is something happening already here. Minus one, minus one. And here in the middle, eight. Look. Now we have our image with only the edges being shown. Let's try out the cameras here. Oh, look, you can see the edges of the window, the edge of the table. Here. Very nice result. What we can also do is increase the, the width of the edge. So, can add one divide patch here. And when we divide the screen size, our edges get more wide, right? It gets more visible. And here in this weasel, you can change the color because those values here are actually the are actually the RGB colors, right? So let's put RGB so it's more clear. And like if I want to remove the green and the blue, I put zero, zero here. And you have only the red component, right? Same thing if you want to remove the red component and use only the green. So you have a green border. So you can achieve many effects using this. You can put the original image above the borders here, the edges, and you can shift your edge a little bit and you can achieve a outline effect. You can do many things with this. So use your creativity to make nice filters with this knowledge. So that's it guys. This tutorial was very simple, just to show you how to use the convolution patch. And you can try the other matrix here, right, to see the other effects sharpen, blur. So don't forget to give a like, subscribe, because I have this English playlist. So I need to know if you're enjoying those English tutorials or if I should stop doing it and focus only in my Portuguese tutorials, okay? So thank you guys. Bye.